Hey everyone, over the last couple months, I've made a handful of tutorials showing how to set up multi-output instruments, and I've received a number of comments asking about how to export those multi-output instruments. If you're looking for detailed tutorials on how to set up specific instruments, I'll have that all linked down in the description. And if you don't see a particular instrument and would like to request it, feel free to let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, please make sure you like and subscribe, and I'm gonna get started showing you how to export these multi-output instruments. I don't know if I said this, this is in Logic Pro. I know that's definitely relevant, so I should have said it, but if I didn't, you've been told. <laughs> okay, so it's the same method regardless of instrument, but I'm gonna show you twice just to make sure it sticks and to show you that it doesn't matter what instrument you can do. So I'm starting with this drummer track here. It's just the regular like plus drummer and it makes a whole track stack here. Um, so if you're using Logic stuff, stock this is going to be like one for one tutorial here um, you're just going to highlight everything and you can either keep the main track highlighted or not highlight it for the sake of this i will highlight it and once you have the area you want if you want it to be cycle region like just a specific spot you can do that and just turn this on the spot you want so i'm going to do this here and once you have it all set up how you want, go ahead and hit Command E to export. And you see I've already been doing it a couple times. So we'll just call this Logic Drummer. And right here, this range. So if you do trim silence at file end, it's going to do the entire duration of your project and then remove the silence. If you do cycle range only, it's literally just going to export the cycle range here. Um, so for this one, I'll do cycle range only to show you. And then down here, you can customize your file name pattern. So that means how do you want them set up basically? Uh, so I like putting increment first. So that way, whatever order they're in in logic, it'll increment them like one, two, three, four. So the first track is trapdoor, which is this master here. And then it'll be like O2 kick, uh, that kind of thing. You can also put a custom thing on there and type it right here and it'll just tack it on the end. But I usually just do increment and track name, and then go ahead and hit export. <clears throat> and it's done. And then you can navigate to your finder. Logic, export multi out, exports, right here, Logic Drummer. And then you have every single track that was there. So I'll grab all of them. And just to prove it, we can drop it in below here and hit create new tracks. And then now we have all of them. The one thing to note about doing it this way instead of the trim silence is that you'll notice some of our tracks are silent because nothing was going down that lane. So like kick one was not used at all. It was all kick two. So, you know, we have a bunch here, like we weren't using any of this stuff in the drum pattern. And so now we have empty audio files. So depending on what you need, you know, just take note of that. Um, so now we have trapdoor, which is the full beat, right? Same thing as this. Although that one sounds better. I think that just got normalized. So whole beat is here. And then you have individual elements down here. So it's that simple, and I'm going to show you how to do it a little more complicated way with a third-party plugin. So for this one in particular, I'm using Addictive Drums, but as long as you get it set up properly in whatever plugin you're using, the back half of this tutorial will be the same, if that makes sense. So I will go ahead and get rid of all of this. Now we're switching to country, kind of country. So let me undo this so I can show you setting it up just in case, but it'll be a quick version. 
So addictive drums, depending on the plugin you're using, you need to configure the plugin itself for multi-output mode before you do it in Logic, right? So I have loaded this plugin in multi-output mode for Stereo 10 Mono. That's what this particular plugin likes. But again, you need to figure that out with your plugin. If you need help, let me know in the comments. I either already have a video or I might be able to make one to help. Right when you first start, all your sounds are going to be coming down this track. And what you need to do is make sure you're in the mixer because if you're in this detail view, come on. If you're in this detail view, you won't see the option. So only when you're in the mixer, you see this plus. And I'm going to hit all the pluses because I want all the channels. And so now we have the 10 mono for stereo. One, two, three, four. It's kind of weird. And now we have to go into Addictive and tell it to send all of these out the auxes. So basically you have a few options here and I go into this in detail in another video. But right now I have them all set to separate out post fader. So they are all going to go direct out they're not going to go to the master, which is here, and it's post fader. So if I adjust stuff, it adjusts in logic. And then if I hit play, you have all the things here. Right. And whatever else is left over is coming down this stereo track here. So I'm going to call this effects, kick, snare, hat. Which toms are we using? I'm not using all the toms, so let me. Okay, so we'll just call this rack and floor. And this is probably overheads. Yep. Overheads and room and... I think this is like a parallel compression bus. Let's confirm. Yeah. Okay. So now we have all these. If you hit export now, this might be where some people lose it. Uh, if you hit export now, you're only going to get this. So what you need to do is highlight all your auxes, all of these additional weird hidden channels that you don't see, and right click and hit create track, which is also the control T command. When you do that, it adds tracks to your main window area, your arrangement editor, uh, whatever it's called. What's it called? Main window. <laughs> now you can hit play and you'll see it all coming through. And let me just get a downbeat there. Okay, so this time I'm not going to do the cycle range on the export. So I'll just pull this to where I want my project to end. So we'll give it a little bit of time to fade out. That's what we want. And I'll go ahead and highlight all of these again and hit export. And let me just make a new folder. Okay, so now we're going to switch the range to trim silence at file end and go ahead and hit export. And notice this time too, we did not put them all in a track stack, so we're not gonna get that file with the master stereo drums on it. If you wanted that, again, just highlight all of them and hit create track stack. And then, you know, this will be, you call it drum master. And when you export with this, it'll export everything else. Um, again, not necessary, and especially people trying to export the directs, they might not want a stereo signal anyway. But if that was confusing, again, any questions in the comments, I'm happy to answer. Um, so here we go in our addictive drums folder. You'll notice this time we only have the files of things that had content happening. So aux4, aux7, aux9, 10, and 11, those were for like toms or flex channels and they're not being used. So the nice thing about trim silence is it just did not export those files or it deleted them or whatever. But point is they're not there. So that helps keep things a little cleaner. And then here we go. So now here's our files. We have an effects, which just has kind of the reverb from addictive, which is nice to include that.
beautiful. You know, then you can pan them and now you're just working with audio, which is great, honestly. And it, sometimes it's nice to just export it out and have it be audio for when you're mixing. So you're not dealing with MIDI while you're mixing. <laughs> So that's all you really need to know about exporting multi-output instruments from Logic Pro. If you have any additional questions, please make sure you ask down in the comments and I'll do my best to reply and give you a good answer there. If you're interested in booking a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me to pick my brain on anything from Logic Pro, mixing, mastering, composing, music production, I'll have a link for that down in the description for you to check that out. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you spending your time here on my channel and I'll see you on the next one.